Wearing a mask is not a political statement. It's a scientific imperative. It's a point of patriotic pride so we can pull our country out of this god-awful spiral we're in. And it's a testament to the values we were taught by our families and by our faiths. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Now, every vote must be counted. No one's going to take our democracy away from us. Not now, not ever. America's come too far. America's fought too many battles. America's endured too much to ever let that happen. We, the people, will not be silenced. We, the people, will not be bullied. We, the people, will not surrender. My friends, I'm confident we'll emerge victorious. But this will not be my victory alone or our victory alone. It'll be a victory for the American people, for our democracy, for America. And there will be no blue states and red states when we win. We can get this pandemic under control so we can get our economy working again for everyone. But this cannot be a partisan moment. It must be an American moment. We have to come together as a nation. I'm running as a Democrat, but I am will run and govern as an American president. Whether you voted for me or against me, I will represent you. And those who see each other as fellow Americans who just don't live in red states or blue states, but who live in and love the United States of America. That's who we are. And there's never been a single solitary thing America's been unable to do. Think of this, not once. Not a single thing we've not been able to overcome when we've done it together. So let's get the heck up. Remember who in God's name we are. This is the United States of America. There's nothing beyond our capacity. We can beat this virus. We're not too divided to achieve big things. We're America. We can do this. We've never failed when we work together. Imagine, imagine a true nationally coordinated plan where we spare no expense so our schools have the resources they need to reopen with full health and safety protocols in place. Imagine every small business getting a restart package that helps cover the cost of installing plexiglass, providing PPE, and more to minimize the risk of exposure for customers and workers. Imagine our older Americans and people with disabilities having the peace of mind that comes with trusting that the public health system is working for them. Imagine, instead of staying locked up in their rooms, they're able to hug their grandchildren or other those who they love and haven't been able to see. Imagine if you're a member of a community that has been hit particularly hard, Black, Latino, Asian Americans, or Native Americans. Imagine a public health and economic response that treats your needs as a priority, not as an afterthought. Imagine a day in the not too distant future when you can enjoy dinner with your friends and your family, and maybe even go out to a movie, or when you can celebrate your birthday weddings, graduations, surrounded by your nearest and dearest friends. That's the Biden-Harris agenda to beat COVID-19. This is Joe Biden. Black lives matter, period. I'm not afraid to say it. Inequities have to be met head on. African Americans need a fair shake when it comes to economic opportunity, health care, criminal justice, education, and housing. That's why if I'm elected, We'll get COVID under control by listening to the science. We'll raise the minimum wage to a living wage of $15 an hour. We'll protect the Affordable Care Act, provide $100 billion in capital for minority-owned small businesses, offer a real plan to tackle the student debt crisis. We'll root out systemic racism in our criminal justice system, end cash bail, decriminalize marijuana, and automatically expunge prior convictions. Together we can fix this. Let's build back better. But I can't do it without you. So I'm asking for your vote. 